glad that someone with your expertise and experience has decided to tackle this and present something new to the, the body of knowledge that's being worked on to help protect communities. So I appreciate that. It was the year after Columbine that we first had lockdown procedures. It hasn't changed very much. Essentially, you lock out and hide. Being a teacher at this school now can get the students out and get them on safe Matt provided us techniques that allowed our staff to explore how they would use everyday objects in their offices should they face an active shooter. In the past, what we've had, um, and, and not taken away from any of the other programs, but we have experienced what is more of a passive um, educational session. How beneficial would it be for Tennessee schools? Everything that's been done, all, all of the different programs that we've had, they don't address as much as we need. They don't take into account the what ifs or this is how people respond in this situation. They don't take into account so many variables. There's so many more options than just hoping that you and or your kids are the ones who get lucky. What's important about this program to me is the how that's at the person level and is very intuitive and easy to understand. It gives you the motor memory of how to actually execute those. I do agree that it's the how actual experience of how far can I step out before I see that you know intruder. Can he see me? How you do it, the how you do it, that's the most crucial part. Several times over the years, kids say, well, if it was real, if they heard gunshots, they would just run outside, which is scary to me because Running outside may actually put them in harm's way. They don't have confidence in what we're doing or how we're protecting them. We were also given live simulations on how we would walk through a building, how we would escape uh, the hallways. Anyone from you know third grade up to a senior in high school were able to take in the knowledge that you've given, and it did not uh, in any way uh, promote any sense of being scared, but yet prepared. What it did and exactly what I had hoped for, they feel more secure now. There's an emphasis on special needs situations with children. Very advantageous for us here at our pediatric practice, um, but also considerations for those who have other physical disabilities. Do you feel your child is safe on the current procedures? If we follow the procedures just that we're given, it could just be luck. Just putting yourself in those real life situations or possible scenarios uh, that made all the difference. When the LIV solutions were shared with you, what has changed? How was your mindset changed? It's so empowering. I can make it very difficult for someone to come into a room and harm myself or my students. Today we were able to walk through the building and look at potential scenarios and, and the settings within our building uh, to feel more empowered. I feel a different mindset overall. I'm much more confident now about what I should do. I'm not going to be a victim. I'm not going to wait and guess and hope that luck plays out. That really came from the live program. It did allow people to think outside the box and place them in situations that they have naturally in their day-to-day -day lives, in Walmart, in the movie theater, in their churches. It's not just a school thing. Everything I know now could be applied in any public setting. I hope to never face a situation like that. But if I do face one, I feel like I will have the best outcome that's possible for me or the people around me.